Okay, my friend Taylor, I love this first sentence. I just bought your Mass Made Simple book. Good, Taylor, continue buying my products. That will keep my grandchildren going into excellent education uh, and colleges. I like your recommendation to do a bit of leaning out before starting the program. Shocks me, Taylor. Someone actually read that. I'm not used to people actually reading the books. I was thinking of doing Pat Flynn's Fast 15 directly preceding the six weeks of Mass Made Simple. Three questions. Is this sufficient leaning? Uh, it doesn't compare to walking the AT, the Appalachian Trail, naked in the winter. I tell you one thing. If you walk the AT naked in the winter, we don't need to talk about fat loss anymore. We have to talk about some other issues. Uh, yeah, that would be probably fine. Um, if you're doing it for the 15, uh, try to, I would say maybe uh, 21 days of it, yeah, so maybe three weeks of it. And that would be just fine. You're not trying to, you're not trying to get, you know, like we used to joke, cut like the loser in a Tijuana knife fight. You don't want to get ripped to shreds. We're just trying to get you to lean out a little bit. And people, by the way, people who have taken Mass Made Simple and done the lean out first have so much better progress. Now, maybe it's because we're cheating because you leaned out and all you're doing is getting your, your rebound back. But it doesn't matter. Over time, they seem to do better also. Question two. Does doing the Fast 15 directly before Mass Made Simple, simple constitute two bus bench training sessions? Well, maybe, yeah, but is that bad? No, that's not bad. That's fine. Uh, because they're not, you're, not chasing, you're not chasing two rabbits here. You're doing Fast 15, and then you're doing Mass Made Simple. You're, 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 you're fine. You're not doing Fast 15 and Mass Made Simple at the same time which really would be an interesting thought, if you don't mind. I don't know how you do it, but whew, going into a 50 reps with body weight in a fasted state, you better have a good spotter, man, because uh, if your eyes roll back, you're in trouble. Uh, three, what do you think of doing another Fast 15 right after the Mass Made Simple? Well, now I... St Let's finish Mass Made Simple. Anybody who's actually finished the six weeks, seven weeks in some cases, um, one of the last things you want to do after that is, you know, most people are just like, that was good. I'm, I, that's good. I don't need to, I don't need any more discipline work. Um, you mentioned doing the fast mimicking diet right afterwards. You know, I would prefer that you did the five day fast mimicking uh, right into the, into the Mass Made Simple. So FMD, five days, day one, uh, Mass Made Simple. That would be really an interesting gear change. Um, but I'm not sure. I mean, if you find Fast 15 easy, manageable, doable, sure, no problem at all. Turn that into your lifelong program, okay?